Good morning. It's Thursday, March 19th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Tools of a Shepherd, and our scripture is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close to me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. There are so many dangers associated with tending a flock of sheep. Ancient shepherds lived with the sheep to keep watch because predators were everywhere. The shepherd's tools are well known, rod and staff. The staff was a guide to help move the sheep along to the next place where there would be water and grazing. Sheep tend to wander, so even the staff was a means of protection against just stumbling along and perhaps winding up in a place that's barren and unsustainable. I was watching a TV drama where one of the main characters was talking to a co-worker. She asked her friend, have you ever felt like things happening to you were all connected, like you were being driven to something? Had I been in on that conversation, I would have jumped in and screamed, yes, yes, are you not listening? Of course you're being moved along, you senseless, non-attention paying sheep. That's the great shepherd guiding your steps. So, if the staff is for guiding, where does the rod come in? That may be the most important tool in the shepherd's hands. The rod was for protection and discipline. There are enemies of sheep that are too formidable for any sheep. A rod was about the length of a man's forearm, fortified with pieces of metal or rock strapped to the end. It became a club in the hands of a skilled shepherd to drive off wolves and other predators. But it also became a different kind of protective tool each night. As the sheep gathered close to the shepherd, he would use his rod like a diagnostic tool, pulling back the thick wool covering each sheep. This was to allow the shepherd to see if there were any wounds that needed tending. This was the comfort part of rod and staff of which David wrote. David was a good and faithful shepherd tending the family's flocks, And when he penned Psalm 23, it was probably with fond memories of simple but profound experiences keeping watch. And this is the task our Heavenly Father gave to the Good Shepherd, God's Son, Jesus. We human beings are like a flock of wandering sheep who have a peculiar habit of wandering away from the shepherd. As Isaiah said, all of us like sheep have strayed away. We've left God's paths to follow our own, yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. For you today, what Isaiah said about God laying the sins of us all on the Christ of the cross is God's rod combing over our sheepish woolly backs, revealing the sins of our foolishness and pride. His omniscient eyes don't miss a one, no matter how big or small. And the Good Shepherd removes our sins and heals our wounds. Take a moment just now and thank him in your best sheep prayer that the Good Shepherd is willing to live with his flock, us. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.